This is tea right here, okay? <laughs> Hey everyone, what is poppin'? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are just getting into a get ready with me chit chat Q&A situation. And if you want to participate in the next one, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you'll be able to ask whatever. So if you want to hop into the chat, just keep on watching. Before we get started in this video, I do want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Peri Peria. Look at my lips. Y'all, this ink velvet is by Peri Peria, which is the number one best-selling lip tint on Amazon. My lips look so good. And honestly, testing out this lip tint throughout the week, let's talk about long-lasting. My lips have not smeared. I'm so shocked. No wonder it's the number one best-selling. And it's also multi-use. You can use it on your lips, your cheeks, or your eyes. And this does come as a set. So it does come with the ink velvet and also the lip liner. And this is in the rosy nude color. So perfect for every day. The formula is so buttery, long lasting. I'm really in love with this. My lips look so good. And obviously I could take this up a notch by putting on lip gloss. And speaking of lip gloss, we just launched three new lip glosses. My personal fave is Edgy Nude, which is 02. It's Chillin' Rosy in 03. And then they came out with a clear color, which is 01. This formula, so bomb, non-sticky, makes my lips look so plump and juicy. You'll be able to shop their Black Friday sale up to 40% off so make sure you take advantage and this will be going on from november 22nd through november 27th so make sure you take advantage let's just hop right into the video and thanks so much again peri peria for sponsoring this video i'm just about to get ready for a event for tonight and we're just gonna get ready and i'm gonna answer some of the questions i asked y'all to ask me because i am doing a q a and if you want to participate in the next one girl all you got to do is follow me on instagram and I look forward to the next one i don't do these often just because i like to you know answer a lot of questions on my blog so make sure you tune into those um, I may have answered some questions that you may be curious about. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to an event. So, I'm just going to do my face. I already did my eyebrows. My skin is looking so good. So, the first thing I like to do when I get ready is my eyes. And lately, I've been into wing liner. It enhances the eye. Good. I do like to use scotch tape for my eyes just to give me that lifted look when i'm putting on eyeshadow because i'm not i'm not a makeup artist girl i'm just not and i do whatever works this is like the cheat code especially for liner if you're just starting out girl put some tape on your eyes for my base i am going to use the ink velvet um and the rosy nude just like i just showed y'all in the previous clips because obviously you can use this on your eyes and i really like how this looks it gets, gives me a flawless effortless look so i am going to use this as my base for my eyes for the first question that is on here um how do you feel about the quella situation just as for quella Shanquella reference that story is so crazy to me and that's why I just don't sit around a lot of people you just never know who really likes you for real who's around you for you know whatever whatever connections they want to make with the other people around you you just really never know who you're really sitting next to unless you know like this person is my right or die this person would never do me wrong that's why it's so important to make sure you just don't be sitting around anybody that's why i only go on trips with a selected few people that case is still going on they're still figuring out what happened um if y'all aren't familiar but i'm pretty sure you've seen it all over the media shinquella robinson she went on vacation and she was with a group of people they jumped her and end up you know she ended up passing they lied and said she died from alcohol poisoning i don't know like the backstory of everything but i know that she thought she was on a trip with her friends and you know i don't know what led up to that situation that made them want to do that but like i said before i just don't sit 
with anybody. That's why y'all see me in a house like that. You really just never know and it's so scary. I wanna be social, I wanna go on dinners and stuff. Like, people write me all the time, but you, girl, you just never know. I have to really like, be like, okay, like I wanna go sit with this girl and see what she's about. If I really take my time out to go to dinner with you or go on a trip or even get to know you for real on a friend level, just know it means something. And also I can feel like I'm a Pisces and I can feel when Somebody isn't genuine. I don't know. God gave me this gift, girl. And I just peep little things that I'm just like, no, this person don't really fuck with me for real. They're not genuine. I'm not saying anybody specific. I'm just saying in general. I can feel vibes. I go off vibes. It's scary out here. I do send my condolences out to Shanquella Robinson and her family. I watched the interview when her mom was on the news and said that Shanquella called her. And then she never got to speak to her ever again. And that is crazy. Yeah, there's so much going on in the world right now. And I really hope her family does get justice. My therapist, she's like, she can read me. And she was like, I feel like you want genuine connections. And I'm like, you're absolutely correct. I'd rather have my small group of genuine friends than be around a whole bunch of people that just don't really fuck with me for real. What happened to her is just not okay. So I pretty much did my eye. Now I'm going to just go in with some liner. Y'all have to go get this peri period. It's just a good base for a smoky, effortless eye. And you can just wear this on like a regular day basis if you wanted to by itself. I just wanted to enhance it just because I'm going somewhere. But it's just so good. So make sure you guys go shop their Black Friday set. What is the hardest thing about being a content creator? Love you. Love you too. And probably the hardest thing of being a content creator is honestly editing. It just takes so long. Me, because obviously I'm just a person that likes to put together a movie. I like to make my vlogs make sense. Um, and I love filming. I love making content. It's the editing part what is so annoying because it's like, okay, I got to get fresh music. I get so many questions on where I get my music from. I get my music from SoundCloud. I was thinking about making a separate YouTube page to, you know, make that easier for the girls. But I hear the girls is screen recording the sounds and putting it in vlogs, which is no problem. You know, it's... that. Do what you gotta do, sis, okay? Do what you gotta do, but I don't see no shame in that. I don't care. It is what it is, you know. I don't gatekeep where I get my songs anyways. If somebody asks me where this song is from, I don't normally, like, comment under my picture, but if somebody will DM me and say, hey, where is this song from, I'll send it to them. So maybe in the future, I might get an editor, but for now, I really like enjoying editing them. It just takes a while. Um, when I'm editing, it literally takes me... A vlog will take me at least six hours minimum. I just really have to plan out my day and make sure I don't have nothing to do on my work editing days. Y'all, this wing is about to come out so fire. Purr. To keep it all the way 100, being the struggle of being a um, content creator for real is honestly being consistent. That's really the key to growing your channel, growing whatever platform you want to grow. Um, that's the main question I get asked, like, how do I grow? Da -da -da. It's being consistent, and I struggle with that as well. Girl, especially on Instagram. I don't be in the mood to upload photos. I just don't be in the mood to take pictures sometimes. I'll get in my ruts where I'm like, I don't want a picture. I'll get dressed up. Cute. But I won't take a photo. TikTok is pretty uh, it's a mix. Like, it's like play play for real. And that's the way I'm taking an Instagram. Now I'm about to come back full throttle. I got some looks coming. So make sure you follow me. But I'm really just about to play around. At this point, it's big playground. And YouTube is hard too, but it's a little bit easier because I don't have to get dressed up. I can be my authentic self. I can wake up however and turn the camera on, whatever, do what I do, you know? But Instagram, you got to get dressed. You got to put on makeup and I do all this extra stuff. It's easier said than done. I can tell y'all all day, be consistent, be consistent. But if you want it bad enough, baby, you're going to get that content done, okay? You're going to get it done, period. Period, point blank. Okay, I want to show y'all this magic real quick. Period. Oh my God, the wing is winging. 
the wing is winging the skin is skinning this is t right here okay we're gonna move on to face um my face is pretty basic i think i want a matte face today but i'm still want to be glowy so i'm gonna add highlight um but i'm gonna use foundation instead of my skin tint but i'm actually going to mix it um tinted moisturizer and also the born this way matte concealer Somebody actually asked a good question. How much growth do you feel like you made since living in ATL? As far as like my YouTube channel growing and stuff, I feel like obviously um, the numbers have, you know, went up. But as far as my growth as a person overall, I feel like I've really grown. It's just about my growth overall. Just moving to Atlanta has really to the woman I want to be. Obviously, I've seeked a therapist. I've seeked wanting to be a better person. Just growing as an overall woman. There's no limits on growth. I feel like you're always going to grow. You're always going to learn yourself. You may discover new things about yourself you never even knew or feelings that you never you know really thought about but as far as growth i feel like i have grown as a woman for sure especially when it comes to dealing with other people and also protecting my peace not to be so defensive and things like that for sure um i definitely have grown and also i want to i want to learn more because my mental and the way i carry myself and how i act and how i feel and how i handle situations in life is more important to me than a following but i've definitely made connections out here with people i thought i would never who are in the industry that that i can learn off of you know and just get motivated instead of staying in the same place <laughs> can you describe the first time you were recognized by a subscriber i honestly don't remember it had to be sometime in milwaukee um when I got approached by a subscriber, I think the very first time, I swear to God, I filmed this um, when I went to Papa Do's a long time ago. She was on, she was probably my first supporter that I've ever met at Papa Do's. Yeah, probably the first, first one ever. I was shocked. I was, I was shocked. I was like, what? This girl is watching me. You know, I was just happy. I was just like, wow, like it's people in Illinois watching my videos. <laughs> only illinois is like an hour but it was still like a special moment for me it was like a surreal moment like wow like people are really interested in my little life are really seeing that people are just living their normal freaking lives and just doing them and people want to watch it so don't get discouraged at all if you feel like oh i can never do that yes you can all you got to do is just put your mind to it and put your back into it. I can do it with your back into it. I just watched the same last name. <laughs> if you have the determination to do it, you will. But it was a special moment. And I'll never forget her. Uh, that video will always be there. It's, a, it's from like a long time ago. I think um, it was when I went to Papa Do's or something. And I think I, I put her in a thumbnail too. Um, and I think I said meeting a subscriber. So yeah. And if you're watching this, hey girl, is it hard staying is it hard staying your authentic self when you're around other it people? Love jazz. Hey jazz baby. And no, because that would be me faking it. I'm never that's the one thing about me. I'm never a fake person. If I don't want to be around you, I'm not going to be. I'm really not that. Um, I don't never use anybody for clout. I'm always going to be myself, my authentic self. And when I get around these people, I want to turn up, take shots. I want to like, you know, see what you are about, like off camera. I'd never switch up who I am to be around them or when I'm around them. I'm always a good time. I am a good time. And that's just period. So it's no reason to switch up and be a lie. You know, don't live life a lie. I live in my truth, honestly. I live in my truth. I don't, <laughs> I'm not in no rush. Y'all see, I don't have a car yet. I, I can't afford a car. Don't get me wrong. I can't afford a car. It's just that my mom wants me to go about everything the right way. And I just have things coming up that, you know, that are going to set me up for a good future with my business. So it's just, 
I'm not in no rush. I'm not in a rush to fake the funk at all. Like, it is what it is. I pull up in a black truck. What? <laughs> it ain't nothing. At the end of the day, who got something to say? There's nothing nobody can say about me that I, I haven't already told the internet. You know what I'm saying? I just, it's just like, okay, and Like, okay, you're judging. You're saying I don't have so-and-so and, okay, so what? What? What you gonna do? What are your goals for 2023 and what lessons will you be bringing in from 2022? First off, the lesson I'll be bringing is focus on your goddamn self, okay? Focus on you, big bro. Focus on you, big bro. No, literally, focus on yourself. I've spent a lot of time focused on other people. I've spent a lot of time focused on other things that don't even pertain to me, aren't making me move forward, aren't enhancing my life. I just, I'm not with it. They look at their num- their um, followers and they're, they're just like, oh, I'm not growing. For me, it's not about the number. It's just about the people that are, you know, engaged with my everyday lifestyle that are always liking, always commenting, always see this these people. Like I feel like I have a community of people cuz I'm always seeing these girls, the consistent girls. I'm always seeing the same faces on my Instagram um I just changed my battery. I'm always seeing the same girls on my YouTube videos, Instagram. And it's just like, these are my girls for real. Like, this is how I make these connections. And when I see y'all in person, it's just so surreal. Like, it puts the face to what's behind that screen. You know what I'm saying? So, I just really feel like um, that's just a tip for y'all. But a goal of mine for... 2023 um I'm not gonna say it (laughs) just because I am just I like to keep my goals to myself just because I just don't want people praying on my downfall but um for sure is to I definitely want you know some more collabs and maybe my own capsule something I don't know But I have other goals as well, but that's one of my goals for sure. So people are asking me when I'm going to come back to London, what are my trips for 2023, and also is there any other place I would want to live? I'm going to add the rosy nude to my cheeks so we can start setting this because, baby, I need to go. The number one trip I want to go to is definitely London. The babes are asking me when I'm going to come to London. And I want to go back to Europe so bad. Paris was such a fun trip. There was a viral TikTok that went viral. Homegirl was saying she didn't know like Paris was all for the, you know, the culture. I literally saved her TikTok for the places she went to. And obviously, I want to go back to places that I went to. Um, I want to go back to Paris. And I want to go to London at the same time. And also, I don't know why I was thinking... I was thinking, um, I don't know. I would not mind moving to like Europe for like a month or something. I have a whole life ahead of me and why settle for living in the United States? The only thing that is an issue with that is obviously I'm so far. I don't know anybody. And also what if it's another lockdown? I can't come back to the U.S. Um, and my family is here, so that's the only scary part but i would definitely be down to busy i cannot wait to go back to europe just because my friend kenya had me thinking because she's now a resident of mexico and she was like are y'all settling just for you know living in atlanta so i was just like that is so true wow those are my main trips i definitely want to just go back to europe and you know just explore smile look at that look at that what do you what would you say your style of influencing was? My style is basically living your truth. Well, for me, live in my truth. Don't be anybody else. I just live my life. I like to show off, you know, lifestyle, perfume, fashion from time to time, a little bit of makeup, a little razzle dazzle. Um and yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm 
going with the vibes. That's my influence, going with the vibes. And if I like something, I'm going to tell you. That's my style of influencing, going with the vibes, being my own aesthetic. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I'm definitely setting up for generational wealth, for sure. Um, the next five years, I see myself in a house, my dream car, uh, knocking off my goals, you know, etc. all that. Just like everybody else, I'm trying to make it just like everybody else. In the next five years, we're going to be doing bigger and better, okay? And that's just period. You heard it here first, okay? You heard it here first. Do you miss things about your small town sometimes? Hell no. Nah. What is there to miss? Literally, there's nothing to miss. I'm not missing out anything out there. Everything was so boring. That's why I just had to focus on getting the fuck out. Honestly, y'all, there's really nothing going on in Wisconsin. Nothing. Like, I had a... If you watched my past videos on me getting, you know, surgery and stuff, I had to go look outside of the city for somebody to do my massages because there's nobody doing it. Everything out there just... Sorry, I got powder. <laughs> Everything out there is just slow and they're late to the party. So I'm not missing anything out there. Obviously, I miss my mama and my sister sometimes. If you wasn't doing YouTube, what else would you have sought out to be? Honestly, obviously, I was going to school for nursing. I'm one of those girls that I'm really good at science and math. So that would be um, something I would be into because... It would either be going to nurse, being a nurse, or um, I did want to be a pharmacist at one point, but I didn't pass my pharmacy uh tech classes, so I said forget it. I started my nursing, and then I started doing YouTube, and then I just put that to a pause, and this is where we are. So I would actually want to be a travel nurse. <laughs> Because, obviously, they make more money. I wouldn't want to stay in Wisconsin. How do I get up at 7 a.m. every day to go to my workout class? So, listen. The key to waking up early, y'all, that I found that works for me. It may not work for you. But, obviously, is scheduling a class. First of all, I pay for it. Second of all, my friend, you know, Michaela, at first, I was waking up by myself. But she would call me and make sure I'm up. Or I'll call her, but now it's like a routine. Once you get into a 21-day habit, obviously, it's like second nature. And now my body wakes up naturally around 7, 6. And just schedule a class. You got to pay for it. Because if you don't have nowhere to be, it's like, what's the point of getting up early? You know what I'm saying? Of course, I have my days where my body is like, no. Which is fine. Listen to your body. Most of the time, I'm like, I have to get to it because i'm dedicated to this journey right now it's definitely not easy sometimes but i enjoy getting up early and getting done with my my workout is only 45 minutes and if y'all want to come to cycle bar y'all can shoot i've been meeting so many supporters up in there they're like oh i've been coming because of you yes this makes me wake up early and i'm like yes yeah you be getting it up in um spin class and it's not easy the instructors are so motivating they'll be like if you want us to be comfortable you could have stayed in bed so that will just make you go harder it's just something to look forward to and also if you struggle with you know trying to schedule something early do it with a friend so she can call you and be like hey girl where you at like what's up what we, what we doing because the first day i went michaela did not show up she was the one that put me on to cycle bar because one of her clients that i met her name was deborah she goes to cycle bar literally her body changed so much from it but after that we were on it consistently and i was like hey girl like you need to get up we gotta go we gotta get to it also my days are longer and i i get more work done for sure i get more work done because y'all know daylight savings so it really just stretches out my days for me which i can appreciate which i do like i just like enjoy i enjoy it i love waking up when the sun is rising i don't know it's just something i like to look at and what really motivated me actually was my sister when i went to go visit my mama and my sister she wakes up at 6 a.m to go to her workout and i was like that needs to be me i need to get on it i need to you know get to it too yeah because if you pay for it baby you gonna show up you gonna show up because who who get in charge for no reason can you film how to edit a video when you have time um if it's highly requested i will 
but i just feel like sometimes those videos don't do good I mean, you know editing is really your own style just put your own little umph to it you know what i'm saying there's so many videos <laughs> like i was saying before there's so many videos on how to edit you just really got to put your own flavor on it you know your own flavor okay i'm gonna answer like three or four more questions and then we're gonna wrap this up and then i'm gonna do lip what happened to your um past friendships in wisconsin so i don't know why y'all assume that i am not friends with the people i am friends with from back home because i 100 percent am keisha's pregnant um i'm gonna probably visit her when i go back home she's pregnant right now but i'm just one of those friends where you don't i don't have to talk to you every single day to know that you're my bitch you know what i'm saying um i just know and there was another question on how do i remind myself it was a question in here how do i remind myself that my friends really mess with me like how do i get those doubts out of my head okay so now we're gonna do a lip and this is the period period again and i'm going in with the rosy nude for my lip combo and i really like to overline It is so pretty and so buttery. And then I'm going to go in with the Ink Velvet. Girl, we did a whole look with this. Eyes, cheeks, lips. How do I get brand deals? How do you get brand deals? Um, I think I've said this before. But... um you i get brand deals because they come to me i'm not the type of person to write them there's nothing wrong with writing them brands just reach out to you and you know just want to work with you and if you really want to work with a brand you'll try to get their attention especially on instagram tiktok the girlies are posting tiktoks yeah i really don't reach out and also when i was coming up i would you know take the product and then really wear it and then um for instance with jbw when i was first starting off jbw reached out to me they wanted to send me a watch and i was all for it i was like yes i want to watch i want to be blinged out you know and they were like oh um we'll pay you off commission and then i would get like little decent checks from them honestly from the commission and then obviously now i have a relationship with them and now they you know now they pay but it's always levels to it you know what i'm saying so sometimes you have to sacrifice not getting paid if you want a relationship with these brands there's been brands in the past that i really wanted to work with but they didn't want to pay my rate but that's okay i, I still want to you know promote their products but now um now they see like the numbers coming in now they pay my rate you know what i'm saying now it's you know, it's the really levels to it, you know? So sometimes you just gotta, you know, sacrifice and it's okay because at the end of the day, sometimes you really genuinely mess with the products. You're gonna use it anyway. You're gonna buy it with your own money. So might as well get that little extra, get the relationship and go from there. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to brands either. Mm, she looking chassis girl so um yeah i'm gonna get dressed make sure you go get peri peria shop their black friday and we're gonna come back in this video off So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And do not forget to shop Peri Peria's Black Friday sale. Everything will be linked down below. And thank you so much again, Peri Peria, for sponsoring today's video. My face is flawless. It's time to get out here in these streets. My Uber is here. So I got to go. But it was nice chatting with y'all. And like I said before, if you want to participate in the next Q&A, just follow me on Instagram. And I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all next video. You can't forget all the time